What is antisense therapy? To answer the previous question, antisense therapy is a form of treatment for genetic disorders or a wide variety of diseases. Antisense gene therapy is a gene silencing technique. Its aim is to inhibit the translation step and to prevent the bad protein from being formed. When the genetic sequence of a particular gene is known to be causative of a particular disease, it is possible to synthesize a strand of nucleic acid, such as DNA, RNA, or a chemical analog that will bind to the messenger RNA, mRNA, produced by that gene and inactivate it effectively, turning the gene off. Antisense drugs work by stopping the production of diseases associated with overproduction of specific protein or the production of a bad protein in the body. To understand how the antisense drug works, we will first recall briefly how proteins are made. The process of making a protein, good or bad, begins with the cell making a copy of its DNA. This single strand copy of its DNA is called messenger RNA. The messenger RNA travels outside the nucleus to the part of the cell where proteins are made. Proteins are then assembled based on the instructions carried by messenger RNA from DNA. For this reason, messenger RNA, in this case called sense gene, is a target of anti-sense drug therapy. After injection, the anti-sense drug usually consisting of 15 to 20 nucleotides, which are complementary to their targeted mRNA, the drug moves to a bloodstream and travels throughout the body to reach the cells. Inside each cell, the drug binds to the targeted messenger RNA that is responsible for making proteins causing disease. The binding process causes the mRNA to be broken down. This prevents the production of the disease-causing protein. Each antisense drug is different and only interacts with one targeted mRNA. Antisense drugs have the following advantages. Firstly, their oligonucleotides may be manufactured very quickly. Secondly, the potential sensitivity to therapy may be easily measured. Thirdly, the potential for enhanced binding affinity to target. Lastly, the potential to produce longer lasting responses. Antisense drugs, unfortunately, have the following disadvantages. First, having an inevitable toxic effect. Second, being complex and expensive. Finally, its non-specific effect such as hematologic disturbances. Antisense drugs are applied in the treatment of various diseases such as HIV and AIDS, cardiovascular diseases, cancer, beta thalassemia, and spinal muscular atrophy. The following are FDA approved antisense drugs. Firstly, Fomiversin is used to treat cytomegalovirus rhinitis. Secondly, Mipomersin is used to treat familial hypercholesterolemia. The following are the references we use to assemble this presentation. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.